Hello everybody, welcome to a little side quest grind video. How you all doing? Now I thought to myself, like, what's the best thing to do on a on a Thursday? Well, let's go and do some of this uh, new side quest. It's just dropped or sort of dropped. It's a little bit of a live playthrough and all that jive. And uh, just have a little bit of a chat as we get through stuff. There's some stuff definitely with chapter 2 of uh, the... Uh, chapter 2 quest 2. That I do want to check out, especially because I hear some rumblings and rumours of some things that are a little bit untoward. I definitely want to try a little bit of that and see what the crack is with it. But obviously, you've got to start off with uh, a little bit of Doctor Doom. Now, I think with an SP2, I think I'm pretty much done with this champion. Especially because I can do that. And then hang back a little bit and boop. Lovely. I like I like doing a little kind of like the boop there. Ah, Mr. Warlock, I've been expecting you to absolutely decimate Jubilee. Although I am a bit of fan of like the stagger and nullify champions to take on this content. I must admit I feel they're the best. Just poisonly. Poisonly, I think they're the best. I like yeah, uh, I like the way they're able to nullify things and deal with the node. The power of love. As they say in, I don't know what kind of like accent it was meant to be. Some kind of like terrible New York gangster impression or kind of like wannabe Goodfellas type thing. Right, come on, through the special one. Through the special one. Don't be, don't be a naughty girl. Come on, through the SP one. Come on, you can do it. No, don't do the finger gun things. That's um, that's very gangster of you. Right, come on. One SP, one more SP one, one more SP one, one more SP one. Boop. Okay, now. Boop. Can I get? Yeah, there we go. I was a bit tardy there with my kind of uh, rotations of the heavy attacks, but um, as I said, it's not really my my favourite. My favourites are indeed using champions like uh, Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom, I think, is a fan ass champion. Oh yes, back using Doctor Doom. We, I, 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 everybody loves a nice bit of Doctor Doom. Just I love the usage, utility that he has, and uh, just, just just beauty. Except for like now I'm playing a bit aggressively right there. I wanted to do like a different kind of rotation, but uh, yes, one does sometimes get a bit aggressive when one shouldn't. Throw an SP1 because I don't know when he's going to synthesize. Ah, there we go. Oh dear. Right, come on. Get all that, get all that power. Give me that power. Give me that power. Give me that power. Give me that power. I've got the power. A bit risky. Oh, look at that. Sometimes I do like a bit of like clutching stuff and I'm like, oh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do that, Rich. But, you know, look, you've got to live live your MCOC life on like a knife edge that anything and everything can happen at any given time. But as soon as you start taking back the power, like here, it's just like, it, it, it do be good, it do be good. Okay, I've got to do a bit of that because I don't know when he's going to synthesize. I really don't want to kind of get into like a headspace where I'm like constantly going. In in your mind, you're like he could synthesize at any any moment, and yet you're then after it's just like and ah, no, I just got it. Shouldn't have won that one, but uh, I don't care. I want it. If it's stupid and it works, it isn't stupid. I'm changing the champion I'm using now to Angela, just because you know I don't want to have the same the video of just like using Doctor Doom and Warlock, and the end boss I'm going to use Human Torch with, but. There we go. That was good. I always wonder sometimes, like, am I going to get clipped by uh, Iron Man's SP1? Is the response going to be there? Do we have good in-game responses? Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. And that's just how it goes with the game. This is actually a little bit annoying because the champion will go into a regen right at the end. Maybe Warlock would have been a better idea to take this on because at least, you know, when we get to situations like this, where I'm kind of like, there we go, I got Fortune level, a nice 15k um, crit. So it's just like... But that regen would have been better to be suppressed by like Warlock or something, so maybe that's something. Okay, well this one, this note here is like, each time the attacker throws the same special attack in a row, the defender gains a, a fury passive. Well, I'm not going to be doing that because it means that the enemy champion gets unstoppable. So I'm definitely not repeating the same special attack. And also, when the defender is knocked down by a heavier special attack, they become debuff immune for 4 seconds. Well, I don't like that. So I'm going with Human Torch and see what I can do with that dude. Uh, but that's a, actually that's a little bit of a problem where you balance in how you um, throw for the the uh, global the head of heels and the power of love because you're kind of like going right well 
you got to be careful when you throw it and if you go parry heavy and like don't throw a special attack before you want to end the game you're gonna have to like do all that kind of build up before i'll try to demonstrate like i mean i'm sure it's gonna be fine but you know he's what it is let's go okay so yeah i've knocked so i've knocked down the champion and my swipes aren't working very well that's not good there we go. We've got a better, bit of better response now. Bit of better, bit of better, bit of better, bit of better response. Right, I need to build. There we go. Get some good. Get my back up off the wall, and uh, tell me, baby. Just as simple as that. Made a little mistake there, but. Um... <laughs> I don't, know. don't need to do much, it's done. Now this is the thing that I was talking about before, I think a little bit I mentioned in the previous video about investigating this because it's just not always clear on, on like the whole thing around the romance synergy. This time we've got hard head and it's if the attacker attempts to stun the defender, the stunt is reflected back onto the attacker for 2.5 seconds. The ability will then go into cooldown for 7 seconds. But if you've got Stunning Romantic, Stunningly Romantic, which is if under the influence of the Romance Synergy, any reflected stun does not trigger. Each failed stun reflects will grant the attacker permanent passive fury, granting 35%, okay? So let's do a little bit of a tester on this. So what I'm going to do is try and some of the squad that I had before, but rotate in a Romance Synergy, which maybe a case that it benefits the entirety of the team so what i'm going to do is like as you can see a human torture you had on the team previously and if i take medusa and swap it out for angela then yes human torture is the only one with a romance synergy but just i'm just going to go in with say dr doom and see if because it's on the team as opposed to the well not on the, well, kind of like the all team all of the team technically benefit from it but will it be something that uh, it benefits from the global node? So that's let's that's, that's, try this theory out, okay? So we would go to Drax right here. And then we would go Doctor Doom. And then I will obviously do the... I'll try and do the stun. It works. So that gives, <laughs> that gives you the answer. Um, in all... That, that benefits because of Romance Synergy, but um, there may be times it doesn't work. I don't know, because last time this this was like a thing, they had this last year, I think, I want to say. There were some instances where it didn't work. So that's just kind of like giving you a little bit of a, a pointer there. It's very weird because we did have the just the two of us crystal, and sometimes not a lot of those champions. There were some some that weren't in the romance energy, but there was some that were. So it was um, it's all very it's all very interesting at the end of the day, I must admit. But also, if you just take those champions in without the synergy, so it has to be active, it doesn't work. So it's just showcasing that, like the um, the the problem with. You have to have the synergy active rather than kind of like singularly bringing in those champions um, to uh, to take it on, as uh, as it does 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 say with this. Unfortunately, uh, if under the influence, so under the influence being active as opposed to saying like there, it, it wasn't active, so therefore um, you couldn't use them. Right now that I've uh, got my team together that I wanted to do. Uh, because, you know, before I was just doing some tests before going into it, which I do advise to anybody that's doing any kind of quests, like test some stuff out with nodes before going in. We know that we've got the Romance Synergy live. We know what this can do. Let's go and get to the end boss. And here we are indeed with that final fight. Now, this one indeed has got lots of, uh, well, things of evade nature, uh, evasive maneuvers. When the defender is knocked down, they can invest a charge. Uh, this each time the defender successfully evades an attack, inflict a disorientate debuff. Um, so I guess in some ways what I want to do. And just quickly finishing off uh, the Black Widow Right now, I need to be very cautious here on, uh, on stuff. I don't know why, like, the, the AI has just been very, very defensive in this particular fight. But, uh, yeah, like, um, Nick Fury seems to be, like, the most kind of classiest option in order to take down 
the old Black Widow. Yeah, uh, a bit of a weird one with this one. And Romance Synergy, obviously, is going to be the one to unlock one Romance Synergy to unlock them all on your team for usage. And uh, yeah, uh, obviously got to finish this video off as quickly as possible because I didn't want it to drag out quite so much. But yeah, um, lots of fun for Chapter 2, which is out at the moment. Evade base champions for the win. Watch out uh, with that Black Widow with the... Um, Hit into block and then gain a lot of power. Champion gains a lot of power. And there's a lot of damage through the block. Especially if you've got 565 champions. Uh, but yeah. I think that's uh, really it. Thanks for watching. And how do you get on with this? Put it in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Whenever that will be. Sometime soon. Probably later. Maybe tomorrow. Don't know. Working on some other stuff. Other projects. Cheers everybody. Bye bye.